can you please just give me some sign that you understand the concept of tomorrow? Like, a blink, a nod, a wink, something. Just please. So, yeah, guys, I don't think Nikki here understands what tomorrow means. Do you? No? You just want to go? Hey, kiss. Okay, you're free to go. And we can move this guy up, back up, actually, because Oscar's month is over. Uh, and welcome to March in Like a Lion, definitely because of the 40 degree days and really windy days, if anything, and out like a lamb. Hopefully, after the snow we're supposed to get. <laughs> snow in March. Great. So what I kind of wanted to talk about today is book guilt. I've been feeling a lot of book guilt lately, namely because I've checked out so many things from the library over the last, you know, month or two or so, and I've just been renewing and renewing and not really making too much reading progress, which, you know, as an avid reader, really, really just, just kills me. I mean, I've been in the middle of The Dark Monk for probably, you know, last week or two or so. Meanwhile, I have been wanting to start on this for the last couple days because it's due Friday. I don't know if I can renew it or not. And I have other books out that, you know, probably can't be renewed again and I have to, have to return them, take them out again, and that's that's just, you know, too much of a headache for me. And I want to have time to sit down and read. But my main problem with February was, you know, I went into other projects and applications and yada yada yada, and I don't want that to be an excuse. But... That's kind of my lame-ass excuse for why I didn't get through as many books as I originally hoped to in February. But then again, I actually did a lot of, you know, graphic novel, serial, comics reading in that month. So, I might as well give you guys a little bit of a poll list as to what I've been into as of late. As for actually talking to you guys about poll list stuff, there's very little to actually say because I put a list up on my Tumblr the other day. Which, of course, you know, I'll, I'll have that post linked down there. But one thing I actually caught up with over the weekend, which was not on the list, uh, is Matt Fraction's current run on Hawkeye, which I'm kind of enjoying because it's Hawkeye not doing Avengers stuff. It's, you know, him helping out people in his apartment building and community in New York City, which, which is actually kind of cool. And I'm sure you've seen by now on Tumblr the whole memory jar thing. I didn't want to pull out a jar, so I'm just using my TARDIS pencil case, and I have a whole bunch of memories to go right in there. The most recent of which being a really good interview the other day, before which, I stopped by a location shoot for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and I saw Shay Woodley, I probably botched the first name, leaving the location shoot, the new MJ. Yeah, I, I think she could do a good job, I don't quite know what sort of angle they're going for with MJ in the next film, but it's going to be out next year, and we'll see how things look once they actually release the first trailer. And speaking of trailers, if you haven't seen the final trailer for Iron Man 3 yet, I suggest you go check it out, and I'll have it linked down there. And you might want to change your pants afterwards. It, it's, it's that awesome. And that's all from me here. I have a book signing to go to, actually. Uh, Jenny Lawson, a.k.a. The Blog S. But I might pop in a little quick clip of her right here. For a brief moment, I thought that maybe Stanley the Magical Squirrel was alive up until only seconds before, when my father had chosen to give him some sort of bizarre colorectal exam on the working law. And then I realized that this was more likely a squirrel that my father had found dead on the road, and he had sliced it open and decided to use it as some sort of grotesque hand puppet culled from the very bowels of hell. <laughs> and if you want to see more of me, I have two cooking, baking type tutorial videos, one of which is with Carrie and Becca, it's going to be right over here, we're making treacle fudge, and the other is with Heather and some of her friends, we are making spinach asiago cheese dip. It's really good. So, I have a sign yet too, so I will see you all within the next week or so. DFTBA and allons -y.